If you are cruising and looking for an all-inclusive beach day in Cozumel, one that is within walking distance from the cruise ships, then this video is for you. Come with me as we explore El Cid La Ceiba with Resort for a Day. I'm Rico from MH Family Ventures, and today I am in Cozumel, and I'm at the El Cid All-Inclusive Resort. I am here today with Resort for a Day. I'm showing you guys what it's like to go to El Cid during um, a port day if you want to get their all-inclusive day pass. So I'm going to show you guys around this beautiful resort, but of course, I'm going to start off with a delicious breakfast. So that's something cool about El Cid is that they actually offer breakfast. So you can skip the buffet on the ship and just come straight out, straight to the resort. It's a short walk or taxi ride, depending on where you um, docked, um, right to El Cid. And um, let me show you guys quickly how to get here. All right, so once you get off your ship and you're ready to explore Cozumel, you're just gonna walk with the crowd toward the terminal building. Now, this is about a five minute walk. Of course, I had to stop and take some pictures. Um, I was on Sky Princess during the sailing, um, but you will walk this pier. Now, if you have any mobility challenges or would like some assistance, if you don't get off the ship first thing like I did, usually about an hour or two after you're in port, they'll have bicyclists that'll come around and they will get you from the ship to the um, entrance of the terminal and you just tip them uh, for their services. So that is available if you need it. But otherwise, it's about a five minute walk from the time you leave your ship to the cruise terminal. Now I was docked at the International Cruise Terminal. Now the International Cruise Terminal usually has ships um, from Celebrity, Disney, MSC, and Royal Caribbean um, and Princess Cruises as well. Of course this can change depending on weather, depending on the dock schedule. But um, there's two other terminals that you would actually need to catch a, a taxi to get to El Cid. And the taxi is about a five minute drive. But if you're at the Puerto Maya, um, terminal, which is typically where Carnival Cruise Line docks or Holland America, sometimes Princess Cruises, Cunard, other cruise lines, or if you're at the Punta Langosta um, terminal, um, which is usually like Holland America, um, sometimes Royal Caribbean, it just depends. Um, you may need to catch a taxi. But as you see, as you enter, there are tons of shops and different things. Now, I just went directly to the resort because I wanted to get there early um, but to beat the crowd, um, just to have time there without a crowd. So once you enter the actual terminal area, you're gonna turn to the left and you're gonna cross over all of these different shops. From the time you leave the actual duty-free shops and get to El Cid, it is about a five to seven minute walk, depending on how fast you walk. But as you see, you can see El Cid from right where I am right now. That big building there, that is El Cid La Ceiba Resort. So that's where we're headed to. Um, you're really going to follow the signs that's going to lead you to the main road, which are where the taxis are. So if you follow any signs that say taxis or exit, that's what you're going to do. Now, something to note about the port here is that in order to exit to get to the main street, they're going to have you go through some shops. And of course, they're going to try to convince you to buy. Um, but there are some um, photo stops along the way. So take your time walking there. Now, once you pass all of these taxis and vendors, you are pretty much there. You're gonna go through these columns here. You're gonna make a left on the main street. And just a few steps, once you step out of here, you are gonna see the entrance to El Cid. Now, just a word of caution, there's sidewalks and driveway. Um, is it paved or it's uneven? So be very careful when you're walking to the main entrance, but you're right there. And what's nice is there's actually a pharmacy and a souvenir shop right across the street. So you can go to El Cid for the day and then hop over to get your souvenirs. And things are a little bit cheaper if you purchase it outside of the port than inside the port gate. So keep that in mind. But we are here at El Cid La Ceiba. All right, so when you enter, you are going to um, show your day pass. Be sure you have it printed. You will need your ID. You have an option to either pick up your towel at check-in or you can receive a card that you can redeem later for your towel. Be sure you hold on to your towel. That way there's no issues as far as getting your ID back or having to pay for the towel. Um, but it's beautiful, guys. It makes for a beautiful day um, when you're in port. If you don't want to leave 
the ship area or the port area to go off and explore on your own. Like I said, I feel safe here. Um, so far it's been great, but I'm gonna enjoy this breakfast real quick and then I'm gonna take you guys around. So as I mentioned, El Cid offers breakfast. Now, most all-inclusive resorts don't offer breakfast. So I appreciated the fact that I didn't have to get in line on the ship to grab breakfast before I got off. I came straight to El Cid and had a delicious breakfast. As you see, they have pastries, they have fresh fruit, they have fresh squeezed juice, yogurt. Um, they have a made to order omelet and egg station. And then they had different types of authentic Mexican um, breakfast items such as chilaquiles and different things. Everything that I had was very tasty, very flavorful. I really appreciated the fact that they offered breakfast. Now breakfast um, during my stay was from 7 a.m. to 10 a.m. So if you arrive early on your ship, you could grab breakfast. Now if you have a late arrival time, don't depend on breakfast. They did not set up for lunch until around 12 o'clock, so keep that in mind. But they will start bar service around 10 a.m. where you can order food and uh, drinks and different things. But here we are at the pool. Um, this pool is relatively shallow. It's not a really deep pool, but it's perfect for families, perfect for kids. Uh, there's also a jacuzzi over by the swim up bar located kind of where the uh, buffet is. But the pool is beautiful. Um, as you see, you have an amazing view of the ocean and of the ships in the background. There are plenty of lounge chairs. Now, as you see right there by the pool, there aren't any umbrellas. But if you go down to the beach side, you're gonna have palapas and you're gonna have these covered areas. Now, there are a lot of lounge chairs available. Some of these will be reserved for guests that are staying at El Cid. But what I noticed was around 10 a.m., um, anyone that did not claim their spot, if there was a reserve sign, they took the signs down. So then it's a free for all. So you can go in um, under one of these palapas that may be reserved. If no one shows up, then you're able to access those. So I was able to get a palapa for the day, which was perfect. Now there is snorkeling included. You just go to this hut there to get your snorkeling gear. You have one hour for snorkeling, but there's also dive lessons and things that you can sign up if you choose. There's also paddle boarding and other water activities if you choose to do so. Now you have to see here that this is not a zero entry level beach, meaning you can't just walk out there into the ocean. There are steps and things that you'll have to get down. I'll talk more about that in a moment, but guys, the views are amazing. As you see, there's volleyball, but it's just perfect. It makes for a perfect beach day, a perfect just hang at the resort, eat, drink, and be near the ship. I mean, you don't have to worry about anything because the ship is right there within view. You are close to home, close to your ship, and it just makes for a perfect day. So something else really nice about Elsa is that they offer a spa, an outdoor spa. So if you want to schedule a massage, if you have a resort for a day pass, you can get 10 to 20% off your massage services. So definitely ask about that at the front desk, but that's pretty cool that they offer that. Um, there's nothing better than getting a massage out on the beach. It is beautiful. Um, I absolutely love doing that. But here is another section of El Cid. Now this side is, is a lot less um, populated. There's not as many people on that side. And as you see, there is a small entry level beach. Now I will advise you that it is kind of rocky trying to get down there. Um, so it's not your standard, you know, beach. It's gonna have quite a few rocks to so make sure you wear water shoes. But as you see, there are loungers. Now there aren't any umbrellas on this side as well, but you see there's some hammocks there that you can let lay out there and rest in the hammocks. And you just have, again, amazing views of the ships in port. So again, this makes a perfect spot for those who are concerned about the ship leaving them or not making it back to the ship on time or just feeling that comfort of knowing the ship isn't too far from you. This is a perfect spot for you. Um, I can tell you that right here in this spot, there's probably some really good snorkeling. Um, I was able to see quite a few fish just by being out here on the dock and looking down. Um, on this particular day, it was kind of windy, kind of rocky out, um, but the water is beautiful. It felt, it felt nice, perfect temperature. Um, but again, that little entry level beach there is a bit rocky, so please be careful.
All right, so now I'm off for a little bit of snorkeling. As I mentioned, you will have to go down these stairs. Um, as you see, this guy is actually out here and he's scrubbing the algae off the stairs. They will also notate whether you're able to get out there based on the weather conditions. Um, you see the yellow flag was up, so that meant that it was kind of windy. It was safe, but be very careful going out there. All right, so as you guys probably saw, it's a challenge getting out there to go to the beach. Now, this is not a resort for those of you who want to enjoy the beach, be able to just walk out into the ocean. Yeah. You're going to have to really work to get out there. You're going to have to climb some stairs, and it's pretty slick. Um, one of the employees was uh, scrubbing the stairs because there's algae on there, and that's very uh, slick. So be very careful. Um, I would recommend wearing water shoes, not barefoot. Um, I was slipping in my water shoes, so it could be dangerous. So be very careful. I, I'm not saying not to come out here. Um, if you are fit and you're able to get out there, then great. Um, but wear water shoes. But again, it's not that typical beach where you're going to just walk out into the water. Now, the snorkeling, from what I could tell, was beautiful. I didn't get to snorkel very long because my snorkel didn't cooperate. And um, it got to be pretty windy. I think there were some boats passing. So I just got out of there. Um, I'm snorkeling again in another port here soon. So... Um, but it was beautiful from what I could see. So try it. If you have any mobility challenges, I would not give it a try. Um, but so far, the resort is beautiful. Food has been good. Our drinks have been good. Um, I'm going to rest here for a little bit longer and then I'm going to head back to the ship. in the cabin um had an amazing time at El Cid again this is booked through resortforday.com so thank you resort for a day for hosting me but guys check out El Cid if you want to go to a resort that's all inclusive that is near the port you can walk to it you can t catch a taxi ride depending on how far um your terminal is now where we docked today I was literally right next door took from the ship about 10 minutes to get there from the port entrance it's like two minutes um so really really close if you want all inclusive there, check it out. They have some things that you can add on. Um, but I found the food to be good. The drinks were great. Um, they do have non-motorized water sports. My only thing is if you have any accessibility issues to be very, very cautious because of how it's not a beach. It's not where you're going to walk right into the ocean. You're going to have to, you know, go down some steps and different things. Now, there was one section that you could walk right into the beach. It's really, really small, but you could do it um, if you choose to, if you want to get out there. But um, yeah, had a great time. Highly recommend you guys booking El Cid. Book it with resortforaday.com. I will leave the information in my description box. If you have any questions about El Cid, feel free to drop those in the comments. And if you didn't check out one of my very, very first vlogs with my sister Cheryl, we went to El Cid in Puerto Morelos um, for an all-inclusive. It was actually my very first all-inclusive resort. Had an amazing time there. So check out El Cid in Puerto Morelos. Now this isn't a day pass. This is an all-inclusive. I'll link that video also in the description box. But Back in the cabin, I'm actually gonna just refresh real quick. I'm going to the spa, take advantage of the Enclave, which is the thermal spa. Since I have the pass, I'm gonna get there before the crowd, um, relax a little bit, come back, shower, and let's see what we get in for tonight. But thanks for tuning in for this, um, this journey at El Cid. Had a great time. Now it's time for some more relaxation.